Hello, welcome to the Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm here to bring you all the latest news concerning Manchester United as Mauricio Pochettino, who was sacked by Chelsea yesterday, is being linked with Manchester United. And of course, it comes as no surprise because before we signed Eric Ten Hag, Eric Ten Hag and Mauricio Pochettino were both interviewed, um, and we offered to give, uh, we chose to give Eric Ten Hag the job, but both of them interviewed for that position back in 2022, but we chose um, Eric Ten Hag. So, what are the odds that we will sack Eric Ten Hag to appoint the person who we choose um, Eric Ten Hag over two years ago? Make it make sense. Mark Pochettino well, has been sacked by Chelsea, sacked by PSG, sacked by Tottenham, sacked by Southampton. Um, he has been sacked almost everywhere he has went, he has gone to. And we also, we also being linked with Thomas Tuchel also, who has been sacked, um, by Bayern Munich, whatever it, whatever it, they, they might say it is mutual agreement, but sacked by Bayern Munich, sacked by, sacked by Chelsea, sacked by PSG, sacked by Dortmund, had this agreement with almost every club he, he has gone to. But because Pochettino was sacked by Chelsea yesterday, he's been linked to the United job. And of course, we are being linked with most available manager out there. But of course, whether our, our attention is on the FA Cup final on Saturday, even in terms of transfer, transfer news, we all know that we are very interested in Mikel Olise, Gerard Brightweight, and some other um, targets. But the transfer news we will run up, it will increase, it will gain, moment, it will gain momentum immediately after the FA Cup. But for now, things are a bit quiet. But tell me in the comment section, what do you think about Mosho Pochettino to Manchester United? Does that, does that sound like anything good to you? Because for me, I'm going to keep my opinions to myself. But tell me in the comment section, what do you think? It, no, I'm going to say it. Why, would we, why, the, why the hell would we want to sign Mosho Pochettino? Makes no sense. Keep the hug, give him structure, let's see what he can do. But of course, it is. it was said that if we sack Eric Ten Hag, we'll look at bringing a younger manager. The same thing Chelsea are also saying, they're looking to get a younger manager that will work within the structure that will be, that his role will be detected to by the board, basically, which is absolute rubbish. We can't have that at, at uh, Manchester United. But yeah, we're being linked to Pochettino. And also in terms of other transfer targets, Mikel only said, if my United are ready to um, make that deal happen, it can happen as fast as possible. But in terms of, in terms of, um, that, we don't really know. He has a release clause. Um, he's not going to the Euros. Um, most of our, many of our targets are not going to the, re, to the Euros. Not many, but some of them are not going to the Euros. For example, Jean Claire Tudibo, who is a Nice center back. Of course, we know that Sajim Ratcliffe owns Nice. We have a relationship with Nice because we are owned by partially the same people. And, um, Jean Claire Tudibo isn't going on, isn't going to the Euros. That's a deal we can do very fast. Um, Mikaulise wasn't, picked for the Euros. Surprisingly, that's a deal we can do very fast. So these are signings that we can do, but some of our other, some of our other targets that will be going to the Euros, it is highly likely that those deals will take a little longer. But everything comes down to the FA Cup final because the FA Cup final, after the FA Cup final, we we'll know if the Hank stays or if he goes. After the FA Cup final, the, the board, such and Jason Wilcox and um, other but other members of the board that is still yet to be complete can start making plans for the transfers. But as of now, we still have lots of rumors. Benjamin Sesco, Ivan Tony, as forwards, um, Gerard Brightway, Jinkle Todibo, Mikel Olise, um, um, I've been linked to some midfielders and things like that. So as of now, let's keep our attention on the FA Cup final. There has been no concrete news coming out today. But what we have been getting is my United are being linked with 50 different managers. We have even been linked to Ipswich manager and our former assistant manager under Oligona Social, Karen McKenna. He brought Ipswich from League One Championship and now to the Premier League. And he's been linked with us. Of course, it, appointing him, giving him the manager's job will be like appointing Ole. He has no experience in coaching a Premier League team. He's still a very young manager who has, who really has no experience in doing things by, by himself. He was Ole's, um, assistant, but Ole and him, they all failed because they weren't good enough. So two years down the line doesn't make him good enough. He has to come in and coach a Premier League club and do well coaching a Premier League club before thinking about coming to United. But Brighton 
who sacked um, Roberto, Roberto De Zabi um, last week are kind of interested in um, in Karim McKenna. Karim McKenna is also linked linked with the Chelsea job. So if he goes to Brighton, does well in Brighton, maybe he can come to United next. But as of now, any manager that is free, basically, United are linked with them. And it is, uh, it is kind of funny because... Trust me, right here, right now, according to Fabrizio Romano and many other concrete sources, my United are not in talks with any other manager. Fine, I can't, I can't say for sure that we are going to keep the hug, but as of now, we are not in talks with any other manager, so anything can happen. And uh, as for other news, Michael Trafford was, wasn't part of the um, 26 man squad for the Euros. Of course, that squad will be, re- will be reduced from 26 to 23. Yeah. So, but he's not part of the initial squad. So, Michael Shashford misses the Euro 2024. And for me, that is very, very good news because Michael Shashford needs to spend the summer on holiday, relaxing, after relaxing, straight to the gym, straight to um, preparing for the preseason tour. During the preseason tour, you perform in the preseason tour, you have had all the summer to rest, and then next season, you give us a very good season. It's as simple as that. Casemiro isn't going to the, um, isn't playing in the Copa America also. If we sell him, fine, we sell him, we make some money. But if we don't sell him, he needs to take this as a time to rest and then come back next season and perform very well. But of course, it is, of course, it is highly likely that we will sell, it's highly likely that we will sell, um, Casemiro because, um, what are they calling them? Saudi clubs are very, 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 very interested in Casemiro. Saudi clubs are also interested in, um, Bruno Fernandez. Al Nassar, where Ronaldo, uh, where Ronaldo plays for, there's no surprise there that probably Ronaldo is the one pushing for that for him. But Al Nassar are willing and ready to bid for Bruno Fernandes this summer. Tell me in the comment section below. Tell me in the comment section below. Would you sell Bruno Fernandes for a substantial amount of money to the Saudi Pro League this season? Bruno is 29 years. He's our captain, one of our best players. Are you willing to sacrifice Bruno this summer? Because if we sell Bruno, you know that we have to buy a very competent replacement because Messi Mount cannot be the direct replacement for Bruno yet. Messi Mount, last season, the season that just ended, he has been injured, injured throughout the whole season, so we can't really trust Messi Mount to be the replacement for Bruno. But if we, if we, let's say we are, we got offered 70 million euros for Bruno Fernandes, would you sell him to Saudi Poli? Leave a comment in the comment section. But so, we, can, we, we don't really know how many players will leave, how many players will go. I'm going to make a video detailing, because they say we don't have money for transfers, right? So I'm going to make a video detailing how players that we should sell, keep on loan, in my own opinion, because we have to raise as much money as possible to be able to spend as much money as possible in the coming transfer window. But let's see what happens. Poch to United, Dezebi to United, Karim Mekana to United... We are all linked with lots of players, lots of coaches, and even players also. But they are in. That's my own stance. Let's see what happens in the FA Cup final. If there's any updates, I'm going to be here to bring you any updates concerning the club. But let's keep our fingers crossed. But like I said, we will get more concrete news concerning transfers immediately after the FA Cup final, which is on Saturday. I will see you all next time.